Don Valdemaro! Anybody? And I know who it is. Hurry. Barbara. Hurry. Barbara. Much as I hate to eat and run. Open this door. All right, men. Break down the door. The window. The window. Hey, you go the other way. The other way. Well, Barbara. Well, why don't you explain it to me then? I can't. Why not? Because you'd think it's something. Because you're lying. <laughs> You're Scott Lancer, and if I am, the son of Murdoch Lancer. So I'm told, never met the gentleman myself. Mob is the name, Pinkerton office. We find people. Well, I haven't lost any. So as much as I've enjoyed our little conversation. Your father wants to see you, and he's willing to pay for it. All expenses to California, and a thousand dollars for one hour of your time. Viva la Tú, tú sigues. Levántate, Lucian. Te digo que te levantes. I'm looking for a man named Madrid, Johnny Madrid. Your captain back in the village said he might be one of your prisoners. I'm Madrid. Well, finally found you. Senor. It uh, is muy importante that you do not kill El Senor Madrid. Sabi? La vida of El Senor Madrid is worth boy de Niro. Sabi? Con mucho gusto. That ought to do it. Why are you doing this? I'm a Pinkerton agent. Your father wants to see you. Lancer? Willing to give you a thousand dollars for an hour of your time. dinero en la cartera. ¿Listos ahora? ¡Tráiganlo! ¡So I tell you, father, you're coming!
tomorrow, Coyle? Unless I'm lost. You mind if I get a lift? Sure thing. We'll take care of that gun of yours. Sure. Seems like we're picking up another passenger. Of your outfit. Can't be helped. Yeah. I am sorry. Which one of you said? I did. You're Johnny. That's right. Then you're Scott Lancer. No, ma'am. He's no Lancer. My mother only had one kid, and that was me. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, well, we didn't expect you both at the same time, but, but actually you're right. It's Mr. Lancer that had two. Two? What? Wives. And sons. You two. Tell me, Teresa. You work for my father? Our father. I was born on Lancer. My father was a foreman here for 16 years. Was? Well, he was murdered last November, at the same time Mr. Lancer was shot. Murdered by who? Well, Mr. Lancer will tell you that. What he won't tell you is how much it means to him that you well, both come here. place in the whole wide world, Lancer.
It's open. drink, don't you? When I know the man I'm drinking with you. You got your mother's temper. You've got your mother's eyes. Well, I want a drink. You got something to say, old man? Say it. Maybe you better count it. I plan to. Come and get your money. I'll settle for this drink. You'll do as you're told. Will I? I want no favors from either one of you. <laughs> Far be it for me to spoil the family reunion. What do I call you? Under the circumstances, father hardly seemed... Call me anything you like. We're strangers to each other. Maybe that's my fault, maybe it isn't. Well, no apology necessary. You'll get no apology from me. The air needs clearing. Let's clear it. Your mother's family thought she was daft to marry me. Not a year off the boat from Inverness. And maybe they were right. You were born, she died, I left you in their hands. Period. A couple of years later, I met your mother down at Metamoros. She... We got married. Two years after that, I awoke one morning, found her gone. You along with her. That ain't the way I heard it. I don't care what you heard. It's past. Bad or good, right or wrong, it's past and gone. We're talking about now. What's happening out there? To this ranch? The girl Teresa said you were having some trouble. Last fall, somebody made off with one of our horses. My Segundo and I trailed him to a place called Moro Coyo. We walked right into it. O'Brien was killed, and I ended up with this leg that's gone sour on me. Since then, my fences have been cut, beef stolen, workers frightened off, burned out. Three months ago, I had 150 vaqueros. Now I've got 18. Well, then that's the uh, ranch you worry about, huh? I love this ground more than anything God ever created. I've got a gray hair for every good blade of grass you see out there. They're trying to drive me off this place. Who? You'll hear them call land pirates. That's close enough. You mean to tell me the men can just come along and drive you off your land? They're doing it. Since I was hit, they've taken three other estancias. What about the law? There isn't any. They killed two good men, Joe Carvajal from Modesto, Peterson from San Jose. The others quit. Found business elsewhere. The only law we got here is pack law. The big dog gets the meat. By summer, they'll own half of this day. Who's big dog got a name? Pardee. Day. Day Pardee. You know him? Oh, yes, I know him. He's a gunfighter, and he's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say you have some kind of trouble. Just how many men does he have, this Pardee? 20 or 25. Doesn't exactly put him in a class with Adel and the Hun. You got the floor. Well, it seems to me you have a very simple military problem here. One, find the enemy. Two, engage him. Three, 
Destroy him. <laughs> Something funny? Mm. Well, he's saying it's not that kind of a fight, but you could be wrong. I've got 18 good men, only the best stayed. You two make 20. Now, oh, wait a minute. This is listening money. Now, all of a sudden, you're talking about gun money. Well, let me tell you something. That's extra. That don't come on the lunch. I want more than your guns. What more? I want your arms and your legs and your guts, if you got any. All right, say I come up with all these arms, legs, and guts you're talking about. What do you come up with? One third. Of what? Everything you see out there. One hundred thousand acres, twenty thousand head of beef, the finest Campanero de Palominos in the San Joaquin. One third, huh? You wouldn't mind putting that down on a piece of paper, would you? No offense. Equal shares to each of us, but I call the two. Agree? You didn't sign it. Nothing for nothing. You get your share of this ranch when you prove to me you're man enough to hold it. When's that? When you get the man that put the bullet in my back. Party. That's the one. Well, let me tell you, old man, you want a lot. Take it or leave it. Five to hold on to this place. What do you say? I've already given you my answer. What about you, boy? I hate to see my property go up in flames. Our property. Guess money, you know, and saves you asking for a loan. Nice custom. Teaches you something. Teaches you to never pass up a twenty dollar gold piece. Help yourself, it's yours. Well, oh, thank you. A third of it anyway. Talking about that piece of paper you showed us? Let me tell you something about paper. Touch a match to it. And Burns right up. You don't give the old man too much credit, do you? Well, I tell you, I don't give anybody too much credit. It saves a lot of disappointment. Well, will you look at that? Hey, who's this other officer all smarted up? 
It's General Phil Sheridan. I was in his unit during the war. Very pretty. Well, I photographed well. Yeah, you are kind of a snappy dresser, that. What kind of a unit did you say that was? Good morning. Does anyone around here ever knock when they enter a room? Oh, think of me like a sister. Hey, Cipriano's cut out two horses for you. He's waiting in the corral. Yeah, you tell him I'll be right down. We're gonna have to buy you some new clothes for living around here. What's wrong with my clothes? Well, I mean, if you're planning on staying in these parts, well, that just ain't the style. Of course, I'm planning to stay. Look, I tell you, get it said, brother. Just this. What I got in mind is pretty much of a one-man deal. Now, you're going to make me feel left out of things if you're not careful. Better left out than in the ditch. With ants crawling across your eyeballs. That don't photograph too well. Saw this one as well. You know, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. To your question earlier, it was a cavalry unit I was in. Well, I'll say one thing, Boston. You sure do know how to ride. You scared the pants off those cow hands, didn't he? But that don't make you ready for day party. You gotta end up with a bullet in your back. You know, a lot of back shooting going on around here. Whatever happened to the coat of the West? Well, you see, that's it. You got to do it to them before they do it to you. How about that? See ya. Where should I tell Mr. Lancer you're going? Tell him I've gone to town to break up one of them gold pieces. Camarón, camarón, que te lleva la corriente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, you couldn't even hit the side of a barn. I'll bet you two more silver dollars. Yeah! Ay, Dios mío, no me voy a perder mi agua. Ay, Dios mío, no. He perdido toda mi agua. Por favor, señores, no tiren más. Ay, Dios mío, no sé qué voy a hacer. <laughs> Oh, 
Está la casa. Ay, muy bien. Muy bien. Gracias. Mire, por favor. Ya ven, son hombres malos esos. Sí, son malos esos hombres. Ah, sí. A ver. Just what do you want? You got bad manners. <laughs> you gonna teach us from good ones? Maybe. Well, well, well. I do believe we got us a hard one here, huh? Let's see how long it takes to make a good dog out of you. Okay. That's my water. Bring it here. Dog won't fetch, she's got to be taught. Now hand me that water, mister. I mean to have that for my tub. I doubt it. Oh, do you now? If they got bathtubs in hell. What's that? You're dead. So are you, son. Well, I picked a good day for it. You better believe me, sonny boy. I do, I do. Only question now being is how many are you going with me? Take him down, Coley. I wouldn't. Day? Long time, Johnny Madrid. <laughs> yeah, long time. Care for a drink? Yeah, sure. Madrid. Are you looking for me? No, but I have a few I'd find you. I heard you got still killed out in Mexico. Yeah, almost. All right, some kind of revolution? Yeah, something like that. You doing any good? <laughs> I met some nice people. No money? No. Turned out I didn't have any. And <laughs> that's why the revolution. Any money here, John? Yeah? It's what I hear. Well, what is your business here? Today, I'm just looking. For your best shot? Something like that, yeah. Well, you found it. Now I can use you, Johnny. You let me think about it. Hey, you ain't already tied up with somebody else, are you? No, and I said I'd think about it, and I will. Now take your time, John. Tequila! Bueno. Por mi amigo. Si, si, señor. Pronto. The one Johnny was riding? Yeah, I think so. Senorita Teresa! Por favor! Don Balamero, this is Scott Lancer. He's come to buy some things. Oh, welcome, senor. Please, this way. Thank you. Sienta también. Vengase, senor, por favor. from Lancer just rode in. You got a fancy Dan with her, too. Go we'll lean on him a little. Find out who he is. Yeah. Don't 
don't take too long, John. You might miss all the fun. See you around? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, perhaps this one, senor. Thank you, I'll try it. Si, senor. Meanwhile, you might ask Miss Teresa what else she thinks I need to be properly dressed out here. Oh, well, he needs everything. He needs some trousers and a jacket and some work shirts. And don't worry, I'll pick out some very, very nice things for you. Come on, Mr. Baldemero. Si, senorita. Si, como no, con Oh, and listen, I'm not quite sure of his size, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Just kind of match it. We can ask him later, okay? Oh, but of course, for the son of Mr. Lancer, we shall find the best. Please, come this way. This way, I was looking at that hat, mister. If you say so. Am I bothering you? Not yet. I was going to look at that one, Joe. Not this time, friend. One side, please. <laughs> are, are you talking to me, friend? Huh? Where I come from, uh, there are two ways to settle this kind of a situation. Mm. Yep, uh, one is... Well, aren't you going to help him? Nope. in your face, Coley. Well, we, we leaned on him a little, just like you said. When he leaned back? Yeah. He's Lancer's kid. <sighs> the old man, he's getting some help, huh? Yeah. You know, that must mean that he's hurting. Could also mean he can get more help. Well, I think we said just about enough fires for now. Saddle up! We're moving out. Well, we're finally gonna hit Lancer. Well, that was a plan. We're just gonna move it up a little, huh? Now, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Now, look. The walls on that house are pretty thick. And some of those Mexicans, they're more than fair with a rifle. Well, we'll just get them out from behind them walls. How are you gonna do that? Will, will you mount up, huh? I'll show you. Come on.
I told you to stay out of it, didn't I? Well, you did anyway. Well, if you want to get yourself killed, that's your business. That's uh, quite a bruise you got. I just couldn't resist thanking you for your help, brother. Don't you call me brother because we share that old man's blood. Oh, stop it! You mean nothing to me. Stop it! Stop it, you hear me? You ought to be ashamed. Brothers fighting. Look, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. We ought to be able to get along. After all, we both came here for the same reason. That's where I came. The money? What else? My mistake. Why do you think I came? Loyalty, love for Murdoch Lancer. You want to know what he did to my mother? He gave her the keys to the road one day and said, what's your hurry? And just a minute, don't forget Buster here. That's not true. That's not true about Mr. Lancer and your mother. We never made her leave. She left of her own free will. Now look, you don't know what you're... She ran off with somebody. He was some kind of a gambler or something. She just packed up and left with him. Did he tell you that? No, my father told me. And it's true. If anybody was done a wrong, Johnny, well, it was Murdoch Lancer. And there's something else you ought to know. All right. No, no, listen. When your father wasn't sure whether he'd live or die, I sat with him. And he kept saying your mother's name, Johnny, asking for her. So if you want to hate him because he, he's stubborn or wrong-headed lots of the times or proud, well, they're their fault. But don't hate him for your mother, Johnny. Because he loved her. I ride, I see smoke, at Caspar's place. I ride over here. What I see, senor. Benitos. Isidro. Si, patron. You keep a man here. Take care of them. Muy bien, patron. I'll send the others back, armed. I think we 
ought to talk about this? We can talk on the way while we're after them. Did you ever think that's exactly what they want us to do? The thought did cross my mind. But that trail could also lead us to their camp. Unless they double back through Moro Coyo and hit the ranch house where we're miles away somewhere chasing tracks. Men are all mounted and waiting. Cipriano you said you wanted to talk to us. Cipriano, you said their tracks led to the San Benitos Mountain. Do you know them well? Like my hand signal. Is there a pass up there? A steep one and narrow. Can you find it? With my eyes shut, senor. Good. Ready? Do you know what's going to happen up there with a couple cow hands and a tin soldier? That sun will be coming down in about a half an hour. And you're going to be stumbling around up there in the dark, blowing each other's heads off. You call the tomb, what do you say? I say you go. Cipriano, tell the men we'll be right there. This is enough. Coming? Are you going or not? Is that an order? There's only one man that's going to run this ranch. Party is sucking you out in the open. You'll either cut your cowboys to shreds up in that pass or go for you in this house when nobody's here. Now you got one chance. Ford up here and wait. For what? Till I found Party. Maybe you found him already. Well, go on. What were you doing in Moro Coyo? Is that what you think of me? I don't know what to think of you. Think what you like. Where are you going? I never was much good at taking orders. Stay together about a hundred yards behind me. Cipriano, you with me. in that desert.
Donnie, you made up your mind yet? Yeah, I made up my mind. You're going to be moving out soon. We'll get breakfast at the Lancer Ranch. He wants in? That's right. I'm not so sure I trust him. far enough to make them think we'd taken the bait. Then we cut back through Cipriano's Pass. It should be along soon. It'll be daylight in a few minutes. Teresa got my rifle. Where's Johnny? Gone. Gone where? What difference? Through this pasture and take them from the front. I'll take the rest of them going for the rear. Johnson, you get them ready, spread them out. We'll take a look. <laughs> Come on. All right. Jose. Don. Harry. Joe. Let's go. Not Madrid. What? This is my land. And I want you to get off. It's your land. You know the land, sir.
brother! Cover me! I'm going out after him! Thanks, brother. We're just about giving up on you, boy. Well, you had your plan and I had mine. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. your name. And you, sir? Oh, Mr. Randolph, I, uh, I should have told you that last name should read John Madrid, not Lancer. I'll fix it in a minute. No. Let it stand. 